How NASA's James Webb Telescope Will Answer Astronomy's Biggest Questions It's safe to say that the James Webb Space Telescope hasn't disappointed. The hype surrounding the largest telescope we've ever launched into space was big and decades long. But as the latest James Webb Space Telescope images show, its view of the universe is groundbreaking. But clearly there's more to JWST than just beautiful images. So what sort of data will astronomers receive as the Webb Telescope continues its journey peering deep into our universe? What questions will the James Webb Space Telescope answer along the way? And what cosmic mysteries will it solve? Let's find out! Welcome to Space World! In today's video, we are going to talk about why James Webb Telescope is our only hope to find aliens. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Like many of you, scientists have spent ample time in the front yard on walks around the block and looking out of the car window at night, just staring at the stars and thinking, do aliens exist? Are we alone in the universe? How is it possible that so much exists beyond our planet? These kinds of questions have plagued humankind since the very beginning of recorded history, and certainly even before that. Thousands of years ago, with no planetary tools other than the eyes and the imagination, ancient Egyptians aligned their temples and pyramids with the stars, believing their pharaohs became stars in the sky after death, and that such alignment of their earthbound structures would give those past pharaohs direct access to the northern sky. It's astonishing to acknowledge how far we've come as the human race from mere speculation about what might be up there, or rather out there, to real knowledge of exactly what is. The same stars that once helped ancient peoples navigate the seas now allow modern scientists to navigate the universe and tell us more than we could ever imagine. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope is just the latest in a long line of scientific innovations to help answer these big questions. And there aren't sufficient words in the English language to describe the brilliance of the images being sent back by the telescope. So how does it work? Using a series of mirrors, sun shields, infrared lenses, and lightweight optics, the telescope's infrared cameras, spectrographs, sensors, and instruments capture the light from far away stars and galaxies to create stunning images. The web builds on the work of the famed Hubble telescope. Using its longer wavelength coverage and greatly improved sensitivity, giving us images with stunning clarity even from far away. These galaxies are so far away and the light that the web is seeing has spent as much as 28 billion light years to get to us. That means images that Webb is seeing are showing us what was present in those locations almost 28 billion years ago. Because of the way light travels in space and the time it takes to travel that far, the JWST is literally providing pictures of the past. With this knowledge of light in space, scientists designed the James Webb Space Telescope to search for the very first galaxies formed after the Big Bang determine just how those galaxies, stars, and planets formed and evolved, and investigate the potential for life within those systems. So astronomers, astrophysicists, planetary scientists, and exoplanet hunters already have multiple questions they're hoping JWST will be able to answer. And as the months and years go by, many more mysteries will surely raise their head. Here are three questions astronomers are hoping JWST will be able to address over the coming decades. What do the first stars look like? Astronomers are always looking back into the past. That's because it takes time for light to travel across the universe. We don't see things as they are when the light arrives here, but as they were when the light first departed. For distant galaxies, the delay is millions and even billions of years. When we look at the night sky, we are essentially looking back in time. So, very distant galaxies were also some of the first galaxies to form in the universe. The Hubble Space Telescope revolutionized this area of research, finding thousands of distant galaxies in a patch of sky so tiny that it could be covered by a grain of sand held at arm's length. The light from the most distant galaxy observed before JWST took a staggering 13.1 billion years to reach Earth. 
astronomers are peering back to a time just 700 million years after the Big Bang. Yet they want to look back even further to when the very first stars and galaxies appeared, estimated to be 100 to 200 million years after the Big Bang. They are hunting the first light that lit up the so-called cosmic Dark Ages. There are many reasons why James Webb is better than Hubble. As we know, James Webb gathers infrared light instead of the visible light to which our eyes and Hubble are sensitive. Infrared light is able to penetrate the dust that can sometimes block our view of distant galaxies. For the very first galaxies, there's an even more fundamental problem with observing invisible light. Adding to this, the universe has been expanding ever since its birth in the Big Bang. Any light traveling through the expanding universe also gets stretched or redshifted along the way. The light from the earliest stars and galaxies has been stretched so much that it's now slipped out of the visible spectrum and into the infrared. Now, for the first time, we're able to see it. It's a chance for scientists to find out what typical galaxies were like in the very early universe, and maybe even find evidence of the very first stars ever formed, says Dr. Emma Curtis Lake, STFC Webb Fellow at the University of Hertfordshire. Coming to the second question that will be answered by James Webb, how do galaxies form? We live in the Milky Way galaxy, a vast stellar metropolis containing up to 400 billion stars. In turn, there are up to 2 trillion other galaxies in the universe. But how are these vast structures made? Most astronomers tend to favor a so-called bottom-up approach, in which a galaxy forms a series of mergers involving smaller groups of stars. Yet, it's far from clear exactly how this process plays out. Thankfully, JWST can help. One of the early images from JWST depicts Stefan's Quintet, a collection of five galaxies, four of which are interacting with one another. It shows us that a gravitational dance is underway as dust, gas, and stars pirouette, pulled around by each other's gravity. Moreover, one of the galaxies, NGC 7318b, is producing huge shock waves as it careens through the cluster. While the four interacting galaxies are relatively close to us at just under 300 million light years, studying them will help astronomers understand what they're looking at when they turn JWST towards more distant galaxies. One instrument aboard JWST is particularly well-suited to this endeavor, the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NearSpec. Astronomers have already pointed it towards the supermassive black hole in the center of one of four interacting galaxies in Stefan's Quintet, NGC 7319. Black holes are thought to play a significant role in galactic evolution. The one in NGC 7319 has a mass equal to 24 million suns, a number so big that it could only have been formed by the mergers of lots of smaller black holes. My favorite moment from the first JWST data was when they revealed the image showing the near-spec spectrum of a galaxy over 13 billion light-years away, says Curtis Lake. I've been impatient to find out how near-spec performs, and I can't wait to get my hands on it and test our models for my own research, she says. So near-spec can simultaneously observe hundreds of galaxies at once, looking for evidence that mergers are taking place. Now, answering the third question, how are stars and planets born? The modern world offers people many ways to look back on what we were like as children. It isn't so easy with stars. Our sun is in its middle age at 4.6 billion years old, but astronomers have found some stars that are just 1 million years old. That's the equivalent of being a 3.5 day old baby in human terms. Among the first images to be returned by JWST is a stunning look at the Carina Nebula, a cloud of gas and dust where hot young stars are bursting into life. These stellar infants are enshrouded by dust, which obscures the view that visible light telescopes such as Hubble can see, but which JWST pierces straight through. Moreover, the infrared reveals hidden stars, allowing astronomers to see how their radiation carves through the surrounding gas. The telescope will also be able to look at the planet-forming regions around stars. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. 
And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.